get started. This is our lesson two. It's Tuesday, TGIT. Thank God it's Tuesday. If you're new here, we all, the Shibola family, extends a warm welcome to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're all in this together. Uh, you will probably leave confused uh, if you're new this week. That's okay. We do this every Monday through Friday uh, at 10 a.m. It's, it's our, our gift to any willing and wanting heart. You have the Fast Track videos. We want you to go through those, take the test, pass test, and earn the Fast Track badge. That's where success begins. You gotta start on the right foundation. That begins with faith. You're not gonna be able to do this alone. If you could have, you already would have. Ah, thanks for reminding me. I always forget that, sorry. Thank you, Lisa. You're the best. And none. If you could have done it alone, you, all, you already would have. So <laughs> once you have a willing and wanting heart and you're ready to get started, you start with faith, start with your vision. We covered that yesterday. Then uh, you got to get busy learning the program the right way. And we go through the fast track videos. These are pre-recorded videos that go through the basics of the program. You might have to go through it a couple times. It's real short. And then I do these lives to help explain those fast track videos, uh, to explain our lifestyle. May take you a couple of weeks to run through it with us before you really decide I'm starting on so and so Monday. And uh, then you get started. If you don't know what to eat after your first week, get a meal plan. Um, we, we've got meal plans galore, thousands of them. Uh, there's tons of tons of meal ideas in the new book. It's just an endless supply. Anytime you hear you hear a thought like the following, you hear this thought, it's boring. I don't have enough variety. Something's really off because there's thousands of meal ideas. That's what's so good about Shibola. You can do this at fast food. You can do it at family style. You can do it at home. Doesn't matter. You can do it as a truck driver. Some of our folks with the best results ever were truck drivers our truck drivers. This is just learning food and, and learning our lifestyle. And no matter where you're at, what you're doing, your situation, your goals, you can and will be successful if you follow the rules. So today, lesson two, we talk about what is that lifestyle? How, what, it, what makes the way we live differently than the way 72 to 74 percent of our cultures living that are overweight, obese, or morbidly obese. What makes it different? This is what makes it different. I wish that were cold or hot, but thou art lukewarm. Therefore, I spew thee out of my mouth. Monday, Tuesday, whatever day, it's Tuesday. It's either going to be a perfect day or it's going to be a holiday. Until you buy into this part, Shaboleth will just frustrate you. It, it will not work. It's not built for you to just make this a calorie thing. Just because you ate light, yeah, you might lose some weight because the weight of the foods you ate is, is it's uh, light. It's not processed and, and it's light and, and it's in there and it's being processed, but all these chemical conversations are happening where you're jacking up your insulin levels, your growth hormone levels, and you don't even know it. You get up the next day and you're, you're basing your entire uh, results on a day and you, you didn't do it right. You followed it willy nilly, but you're down a pound and you think what you did that day worked and it had nothing to do with it. In fact, you can show a loss on the scales, but have gained fat because of the weight of water. So we follow a system that disallows that. We have perfect days or holidays and that's it. There's no in between. If you so much as lick the cheese dust off a of Dorito today, that's a holiday. Don't do like I did in the beginning and use that as an excuse to go all in. I would, If I had a little something wrong, I'd have a hog trough day. And it still worked. That's what I love about it. It's still just one holiday, but it's still just one holiday. Sorry, I need to cut this off. Hold on. Sorry about that. It's beeping at me. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Um, it's uh, still just one holiday, but you can make it, a, you know, 
easier to get back into EFB. Uh, it was Patricia Hurt that years ago, she coined the term holly meal. So instead of having a hog trough day, a hol holiday, she just have a holly meal. That way she could get back into EFB a lot faster. So it, it's it's all how you approach it. But if I eat, if I go to the the Golden Corral buffet and they run me out of there, I've eaten so much. That's one holiday. That's how we live this. You either did it right or you did it wrong. After two perfect days, you're in efficient fat burning mode and efficient muscle preservation mode, not efficient muscle burning mode like so many people get into without knowing it. So we are in EFB and then how long do you want to go? So how long, um, how do we have these perfect days? We drink our water. It's important to stay hydrated. Yeah, we've all heard about the appetite control coming from uh, drinking our water. Half a gallon up to a gallon a day is the rule. Um, it, yes, it helps with appetite control. A lot of times you think you're hungry and you're really dehydrated and need, need water. Uh, proper pH water or alkaline water is best. But it doesn't matter if all you have is light, uh, mild acidic water, tap water, that's fine too. Water in, fat out. Water in, hoop out. So we, we've got to get the waste to moving and we do that with hydration. And then the chemical conversations that go on between foods, different macronutrients in our body as we consume them, they can talk more efficiently. Okay, so water helps them interpret the conversation. You've got to drink your water. That's rule number one and an easy one. If you will not drink water, I don't like that, but hey, we, we can't throw the baby out with the bath water. Then go with Crystal Light or go with some of those uh, flavored waters that are zero calories or even go with Splash H2O from the wellness company. But we really want it to be water. If you wouldn't get in the shower and, and turn it on and wash your skin with it, we, we really don't want you using that as your water, a half a gallon to a gallon of water a day. Then there's the journal. We've got a journal challenge going on right now that is going great. We've got folks just blow torching the fat just from a journal challenge. So we become aware. You have to become an aware eater. You've got to be aware of what you're eating. Every calorie counts. Every bite counts. 50 calories uh, per day for 365 days, even 50 calories extra, you can put on tens of pounds of fat. So you got to be careful, be mindful because excess body fat is just stored calories. That's all excess body fat is, stored calories. And you've got to operate in a calorie deficit and control insulin to efficiently process that energy. So keep that in mind when we start adding sauces and condiments. Did it really enhance the flavor of that food that much? Maybe it was worth it if you had Shibboleth approved condiments. But anything that it stops you from your goal that was unnecessary, we're just becoming wise. So many of our calories are unnecessary. That extra blue cheese dressing, was it necessary? So just think about things like that. So, so we're journaling. We're becoming more aware of every bite we take. If I hog it, I log it. If I nibble it, I scribble it. If I drink it, I ink it, whether on paper or in our online journal. Now, if you're doing it in the online journal, we can help you more when things go awry. Uh, people that have worked with me for 20 years, when they say it's not working for me anymore, I've hit a plateau. Do you know what the first thing I ask them for is? A journal. And I would say 19 out of 20 times they don't have a journal. We, we need the journal so that we can look. Well, Travis, I know what I eat. No, you don't. You're dealing with three of you, your mind, your flesh, and your spirit. And your flesh is, is, is sneaking. You don't even remember sometimes. It's kind of like subconsciously. I had to drive to town the other day, Joy. And I, I literally go, what is wrong with me? I don't even remember the drive to the grocery store. I don't even remember it. Nothing wrong with me, but what it was, I've done that so many times. My mind was able to think about other things while the drive is getting done. My subconscious did the driving. And it got me there safely. We do that with our eating. 
it, it's just secondhand nature for us to eat the way we're eating, just grabbing stuff and running and not paying attention. We've got to change that. Journaling will help with that more than anything else. Then you got food combinations. You must eat in the right food combinations. This is overlooked across our country. Uh, I don't even. I don't care if it, if we're even talking weight loss surgery. They're not talking about it enough. Insulin destroys your mitochondrial health. That keeps you alive. You insulin's fine. It keeps you alive when you eat carbohydrate or, or simple carbs, or you have a, a momentary lapse of judgment and have a Snickers. It'll keep you alive. It'll keep you going. But you're not meant to have high levels of growth hormone in your system every single day. And insulin's not like blood sugar. You you jack up your blood sugar, you can fix that relatively fast instead of dying. But with insulin, it, you get that dose of insulin, it regulates your blood sugar, but insulin doesn't come back down fast. There's no way to get it back down fast. It tapers off. It literally comes in there like the police and puts up crime scene tape hangs out at the scene of the crime a while, puts up some tape, and then they start, they, they, they're they just watching. Insulin's just watching. It's like police looking for fat, and it's going to store the fat. And while it's looking, it's running all over, like it's in a crime scene, running all over your mitochondria, looking for the culprit. And then it starts tapering off a little by little. And then in two days, you can have a full reset. It's good. But if you're doing that every day with willy-nilly eating, you're going to get in trouble. You'll never be able to efficiently burn fat. You'll always be frustrated. We do this with powerful food combining options. That mac and cheese behind me, I left that up from last night. But uh, instead of Kraft mac and cheese, that's what it looks like. That's what it tastes like. But it's different ingredients to slow down digestion so I get less insulin. It's just rethinking and making the proper swaps. You still get to eat all the stuff you've ever eaten. Instead of taste good and gain weight, we're tasting good and losing weight and getting our health back too. There's nothing that you can find that we can't find a swap for. And if it is something that we can't find a swap for, how many holidays do you get per month? Six. That's right, Denise. Six, the number of man. You get six holidays a month, 72 a year. And then when you reach goal, how many do you get? The number of disciples, 12. So you get 12 and the math works out perfectly. That will keep you in EFB enough during the month that you can maintain. You can take three days off a week when you reach your goal. And then if you slowly gain weight, because it would be slow if you're following the protocol, you just snap back, you get it off, okay? So you can relax later if you even want to. I rarely want to have a holiday. I don't feel good when I have holidays. I've journaled enough to know that. It feels silly to have a big hog trough day. Even if it tastes good, it's not worth it. So just start thinking like that. Have perfect days or holidays. Then you have your portion rule. Easy to remember, harder to do. So we, we look at it multiple ways. For best results, we want to have three or less eating episodes a day. I don't care if it's three approved meals, two approved snacks, and one approved meal. We don't want to graze. Stop the grazing, please. Grazing is killing our people. Your body does not like that. Your taste buds might. Your emotional coping needs might but your body does not like that. You never get to fully recover when you're always processing food. Just don't graze. Set a timer on your phone. That's what I do. I eat and I hit my timer and I'm just not eating again until six hours minimum, minimum. And, and then when it's at the end of the day, when I stop eating and I put in 16 hours, you might want to put 12 but I put in 16 hours, it just ain't happening. I'm not, I'm just not doing it. No, I'm not eating. It would have to be some more low blood sugar episode for me to eat. I'm going to win. I'm going to be victorious against the diet devil. I'm not cattle. I'm not going to graze. And I've developed that habit. 
where it's 16 hours. That, that's just how you do it. Sometimes 12, but 16 so that I can have autophagy. So, so portion wise, I'm eating three or less eating episodes a day. If I need a fourth one to cope, if I need some freebies to cope, that's like punting the football. That's good. That's not a turnover. There may be days that you just need it. And I get it. You, that's why there's a humongous jar of pickles sitting in, in there uh, by my stove. Huge, one of them big jars. Because sometimes I can't help myself. And at night before bed, I just can't get it off my mind. I need a coping mechanism. I slice me up with one of them Velocity, this is the best taking physical pickle that you ever did eat. I slice it up, put me a little Himalayan salt on it, and I just savor a pickle. I needed some coping mechanisms, right? But we try not to do that. Three or less eating episodes. You can do it. You can do it. Just determined to do it. It's okay. You won't perish, I promise. You won't. You'll be surprised. You'll go to you'll actually go to feeling better, won't they, Cindy? Cindy's like, oh, madden it over there, one meal a day. A lot of people say, I could never do one meal a day. You'll feel so much better, you'll want to do one meal a day because you're not digesting all that food. But we'll start with three or less for optimal results. Then uh, we got to make sure we portion the episode. <clears throat> if you're doing a meal replacement, it, like Mighty Muffin's already portioned. Uh, otherwise, if we're eating a recipe or something else, we use our two hand rule, simple. Put that right over, okay? Not like this, like this, right over that food. If it's approved food and it fits under your hand and you can't see it, don't do this. It's good. Or put it on a six to eight inch plate like this. Put it on a, I eat off these plates at home. Y'all see some of my posts. I eat off my portion plate. I carry a portion plate with me. And then it's always good conversation. Back in the day, I thought it's kind of embarrassing. I remember a friend of mine, he said, for goodness sake, would you eat like a man? You're carrying a pocketbook in here. I'm like, it's my survival kit. And once you get used to it, you don't care what people think. But a six to eight inch plate, up to three eating episodes a day, <clears throat> that works. That's going to control our calories. If you're a calorie counter and the closer you get to go, even though y'all hear me say all the time, don't worry about that, counting calories, when you get close, you might have to start a little bit doing that. In the weight loss phase, we want to eat for the size we are. I mean, for the size we want to be, not the size we are. When I was 300 pounds, yes, I needed more calories than I was eating because I was 300 pounds. I needed to eat for a 200-pound man, not for a 300-pound man. Go on and act and behave the way you want to be, the size you want to be. Don't. You'll never get there if you're waiting to be 200 pounds to eat like a 200 pound person. You start today, and that is biblical. That's a biblical approach. You you know Saul he turned he he had a a real fast conversion. He had a Saul to Paul conversion. He it was immediate. But you know what the the Christians were like uh uh this is that bad guy this is that persecutor we don't trust him. Didn't face Paul a bit. He knew he had changed. He went on behaving like a Paul would. It didn't matter what, what they were saying about him. you got to go on and behave like you're the size you want to be. So take your ideal weight times eight. So I wanted to be 200 pounds times eight. That's 1,600. I needed to stay below 1,600 calories a day. If you're a partner you have the ability to get your personalized macros in the partner section, and it will tell you how much protein you need, et cetera. Um, yesterday, I had a lifetime member that we just adore. They're, they're not a partner. If you're here, I hope we, we made up. I won't mention the name, but it, it was why after all these years would you give these tools and resources to people and not the lifetime members? So it is about money, isn't it? And I said, no. No. Every time that I use these new technology features, it costs fractions of a penny. So every time somebody goes in there and clicks it, it charges my account. So I give it to the whole world. If you don't know me by now, you never, never, never gonna know me. Ooh. Right? 
goodness gracious, give old Travis a break. Uh, I want you to have everything I can come up with unless it costs me something. And then we'd be broke. And then we won't, none of us have nothing. Right, Joy? <laughs> so anyway, the, the more stuff we put in there, the, the that's why there's a fee there. Okay? Not, uh, ain't nobody trying to get rich. She's a rich girl. Oh, I can't sing that one. Never mind. I get in trouble. on. Got to be careful sometimes. All right. So where was I? Sorry, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Ideal weight times eight. Okay, does everybody know how to figure that part? Brother Carl, if he says, I want to be 200, 1,600 less. Sister Cindy won't say she wants to be 150. That's 1,200. We got to stay below that number. My trainer said that's not enough for me. That's right. It's not enough for you today. But when you get to your goal, it'll be enough. Doesn't it make sense to you to go on and form the habits today that you're going to need to maintain the weight that's going to be lasting? It's just you hardly common sense. You know, in you hardly Georgia, we don't have a lot of PhDs around here, but we real smart. <laughs> I'm feeling silly. Y'all just have to put up with me sometimes. All right. I'm a little loopy. All right, timing, we've already discussed it. 12 to 16 hours. 12 to 16 hours. Let's get that fast in. And you'll be, you, then we don't care how close the meals are together. That's up 12 to 16 hour fast. And then the last rule for a fast track member, we have other rules for journey members. But for a fast track member, the last one is the most important one. Does anybody know what it is before this class is finished? Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Do y'all believe in that? And and we don't want you to do it when you're having perfect days. We don't want you just to do it on them days. We want you to do it when things are going south. We want you to do it when, when you sing rich girl in front of your audience like a heathen. We want you to do it when you hit your finger with a hammer and you said a wordy dirt. We want you to bless the name of the Lord at all times. That's what's wrong with this whole world. We're not coming back to the Father on the bad days. We just want to come to the Father on the good days like the elder brother in the prodigal son story, get our pat on the back, but we don't want to be sitting there in the hog mess and saying, it's time for me to get in my right mind and come back to the Father. How many times somebody messed me up day like they even know anything about me and they said, ain't you done wore out your forgiveness? Huh. What does the scripture say? Forgive 70 times seven, which means 490 times, right? Is that what it means? Let's forgive them 490 times, and then we're done. We send them to hell. That's per day, brother. Per day. <laughs> That's right. Per day. That's right. Lisa I mean, said, so if I offend you 491 times, I guess we're done for that day. We'll just we're start done. <laughs> we're done, brother. I love you, but we're done. You hurt me 490 times in a day. <laughs> it means I always forgive. So before I go to the journey class, I'm going to give you, some of you have the same wisdom because of your pain. This relates to weight loss and wellness. Some of you don't have this wisdom. And in fact, you may be in the middle of this, running around apologizing to people all the time like I do. One of you sisters reached out to me the other day and said, stop apologizing. And she was right. She was right. Bible doesn't say nothing about me running around apologizing. It says, go and forgive. And then your father, which is in heaven, will forgive you. Let me tell you who you need to forgive. Him or her. It wasn't you that did it anyway. The sooner you realize that, God knows that. God knows you didn't want to do that thing. He knows you didn't want to quit. He knows you didn't want to relapse. He knows who's influencing that. That's why Paul said, why do I do the things I would not and don't do the things that I would? I've got a thorn in my flesh, oh God. Please remove it. I want to be a better person. And God said, my grace is sufficient. That means Paul can approach that throne, not run away from it, but approach it 
And every once in a while, he's going to slip and fall and God's going to pick him up. But stay with God throughout this journey. Don't, don't do like this old bald-headed man and, and flee from God when you're ashamed. Come back to him. Forg I have to forgive him. Who am I talking about? Him, Travis. Travis, because that ain't me. I was given a new name. I don't know about y'all. I was given a new name written on a white stone that nobody knows but me and the one that give it to me. Amen. So anyway, I hope you'll forgive yourself. Let go. Keep coming. Keep coming to class. You'll get it. Somebody will say something like the other day. I got a message. It's not the other day I got a message. This happens two or three times a week. Would you tell that Jennifer girl that she got me so fired up, Travis? It was just what I needed. Would you tell Cindy that she blessed my heart? I can't even keep up. I want to write everybody cards and I can't keep up because I'm weak. My goodness that y'all are having an impact on folk. Did, would you tell that woman, what was her name? Sierra? And I said, no, it's Kiara. I used to say the same thing. Would you tell her that she just blessed my heart? Would you tell that Cheryl lady what she did for me? It's just amazing. We're in it together. Forgive him. Forgive her. Bless the name of the Lord always and keep going one day at a time. One day at a time. That's all you have. God is a present God. He was present with Donald Trump the other day. You don't believe in miracles? An inch and the whole country is in upheaval like we've never seen in our lifetime. God still saves. So come back to the Father. Anyway, I'm done with my rant. I need you. If you run out of things to pray for, pray for this old bald-headed man. I love you. Any questions or comments before we go to the journey? Amen, Penny. Have you forgiven everybody today? You say, I don't, I, I don't got, yeah, you do. You mad at somebody. Go forgive them. I was given two words this morning walking. And of yes. course, I'll share with y'all later today on Facebook because God's just put it in there and it's got to come out. But I'll share the two words that he gave me today as I walked. Your best. And so I'll expound on that uh, because instead of listening to a podcast this morning uh, that I normally listen to, God took away that opportunity and he gave me a direct podcast to the things that he had to share with me today. So Amen. the two words, your best. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Look forward to hearing you expound on that. We do have 1030 going there right now. And then we've got Faithfully Fit at noon. I'm still running behind. I hope y'all keep showing me grace. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> Cindy, I'm doing my best. All right. So we'll close out in prayer. For the, for the newbies, when you see the program working, consider becoming a partner. Thank you, Lisa. God bless you for that. God bless you. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all.